news. You got the car. You're finally in a healthy relationship that you've never seen growing up. You have a very solid core group of friends who are on the same level of, as you or higher. They have the same focus and drive as you. They got it going on. Very amazing women. You're around a, a solid group of men who are strong, masculine, supportive. You know, they have their head in the game. They're hustling. You have you have your people. You have your great core group of people. You're moving forward in life. Your business is flourishing. Everyone is doing, everything's going good. But there is someone in your past, whether it's a family member that you cut off or a friend that you cut off from your past, high school, middle school, college, childhood, um, you know, someone from your past, they're mad about it that you divested and you left their toxic selves in the past and they don't like that they will hate you for divesting yes they hate you for divesting because majority of people understand that if you stay in their toxic cycles of dysfunction you're never going to get anywhere that's why narcissistic family members will always have a strong hatred for the family member that blocked all of them in person and online yep. it's not you blocking them that they have a problem with it's the fact that you escaped and you're never you're never going back that's what they're bothered about it's the lack of access that bothers them you're, you you don't they don't have access to you they cannot access you. They cannot call you anymore. They cannot text you. They can't roll up to your house like they used to anymore. They have no way of getting in contact with you or talking to you. This is crazy. We love crazy. Oh, I'm seeing things. Talking to you. And that's really what they're upset about because you escaped the dysfunction. I love divesters and I love divesting. I consider myself a very, 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 um, I'm a divester. I am. And I'm going to continue to grow as a divester and I'm going to continue to expand my divesting skills. Don't believe in any of the false notions that people believe in. In order to be a master divester, you're going to have to leave all of that behind. Okay. Like a lot of women believe that because they are a, I don't know, because they came from a certain demographic or a certain neighborhood, that that's the only area you can frequent and you're not allowed to move up the ladder because you have to be loyal to the demographic of people that you were around. That is completely insane. Um, divestors do not see loyalty in that way. Divestors are loyal to themselves and divestors are loyal to the bigger picture, the greater picture with the, the greater picture that is going to produce the greatest outcome. Divestors are not interested in staying loyal to a demographic or a group of people or a social class or an environment because they have the fear that if they move up the ladder, they are going to somehow leave people behind and feel guilty about it. Divestors don't think that way. They hate you for divesting because you you grew up and you developed yourself. A lot of people don't have a real problem with Meghan Markle. Okay? Okay? A lot of people don't have a real problem with her. It's not that. I know what people's issue is with Meghan Markle. I know what people's issues are with Candace Owens. It has nothing to do with race or them being black women. They're not mad at them because they're black women. Like they try to make it seem like it's about race when it comes to Megan and Candace and it's not. They're mad at Ken Megan and Candace because they divested. They are black female divesters. The world doesn't like that. They divested. I don't even think they're in communication with their family from the past or their friends from the past. I don't even think they have any dealings with those people. They've moved up. They're in a completely different stage of life, and they left everybody in the past. They left them behind, and they moved forward, and they will hate you for divesting. Same thing with Leighton Meester. Her family cannot stand her because she divested. They will hate you for divesting. 
Because the only way people will keep you stagnant and they will keep you from moving forward is to keep you entrapped in a toxic cycle. That's why with a lot of toxic families, the minute that you decide that you're going to leave and move forward and you're going to leave them behind and you're going to block them all, all of a sudden everybody wants to have some intervention meeting. They, they don't want you to escape. No, once you escape, you'll get elevated. That's what it is. Once you escape, you will elevate as a result and they don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want that. Same thing with toxic friendships. That friend, she's not really a good friend. She doesn't really support you. But the moment you want to end the friendship, she's bringing you flowers. She's delivering you flowers. She's texting you how amazing you are. She's going on Instagram, posting old photos of you guys in high school, saying how much of an amazing... She's trying to corner you into staying in the friendship. Because people know that once you break away from their toxic characters and their toxic natures and you divest and move up the ladder, they know that you're going to blossom into a rose. Even narcissists. Narcissistic people, they know that. That's why they hold very tightly onto their victims. They don't like their victims to leave because the narcissist knows that you're better off without them. They know that. That's why they don't want you to leave. A narcissist is always going to have a problem with you breaking away because they know that they need you and you don't need them. And they know that their life is going to be worse without you and your life is going to be better without them. But divestors don't care about that. We're focused on what's going to give us the best outcome. We're not thinking about how people feel about us leaving them behind when they no longer serve our greater good. Vibrationally. So you coming in, you don't match my frequency anymore. You're on my old frequency. You don't match this tempo that I'm on. So if I bring you in, you're going to ruin the tempo and you're going to ruin the chords of the beautiful music that's playing in the background of my life right now. I'm not going to have you come in and mess up my tempo. Okay? Okay. I'm not going to have you come in and mess up my tempo. I'm not. So divestors are very protective of their new life because they had to do a lot of additions and subtractions and alterations and additions to get to their new life. So divestors are not going to risk the new life that they worked so hard to create by letting someone from their past come in. You guys have to learn how to leave certain people in the past. They are, aver they are they were friends with the old you. They were cool with the old you. They don't know the new you. You're a completely different person now. And by bringing them in, it's a waste of time. They hate divestors because divestors have discipline, structure, and order. Do you know how much structure, discipline, and order you have to have to divest? You have to have a clear vision of what you want your life to be, the type of friends you want to have, the kind of places you want to go, the kind of money you want to be making, the kind of man that you want next to you. To be a divester takes a lot of planning and thinking strategically and critically when you decide to divest. You can't just get up one day, oh, I'm going to divest today. No, like you have to have a plan of who needs to go and who needs to be added. That's why I grew up in a suburban uh, neighborhood, okay? I grew up very suburban. Um, I grew up in the suburbs. And that's why I talk the way that I talk. It kind of reminds me of this TikTok Lika from the Kardashians and her sister because of the way they talk. They're two black women who grew up in the suburbs, okay? Like, they went to school with people like those type of people. So, of course, they're going to sound different. They come from a different demographic area. It doesn't make them less black. But I grew up in the suburbs, so majority of the kids that I went to high school with, they were Persian kids, um, a lot of Egyptians, and a lot of Jewish kids. Of course, there were Latin and black kids as well, but it was mainly Jewish, Persian, Argentinian, I'm sorry, and Egyptian. So of course, um, that's those are the friends, a lot of them, those were the friends that I had, because those were the people that I was around in my neighborhood, my classes. I took all AP classes. I was around a different demographic and race of 
people. Now, of course, when I was in high school, I had my African-American friends, my black friends and stuff, too. But one thing that I realized is there's a lot of bullying that I would experience. And the bullying didn't come from other communities. It came from my own. They didn't like the fact that I was smart. I was always told, you talk like a white girl. Because I had a wonderful dialogue, and I still do. And I love dictionaries. I love books. I love learning new words. I love, you know, extending and advancing my vocabulary. And they didn't like that. Mary, prior to having children, if you just want to fix your life, go back to school, people are always going to discourage you from doing better. So you have to divest from that group. Even Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle was a divester since she was in high school. Because they said that Meghan Markle would only hang out with certain types of people, only go certain type of places, only go to certain kinds of parties, only go to certain kinds of invites. Meghan Markle was a divester. She knew the exact life that she wanted, and she knows that she had to frequent certain places and stop going certain places in order to have it. And a lot of people dislike her because of that. And my family, during the holidays, you know, people are getting beat up on a holiday. Okay? Okay? On a Christmas holiday, somebody is is throwing a wine bottle or arguing or bringing up the past or bringing up some type of toxic situation, jealous from that. I graduated from that toxicity. I'm not going back there. And that's what I'm disliked for. It's the fact that I realized this is not healthy and I want it better. And I had the discipline to do so. I have the discipline and structure to preserve what I'm building. And sometimes that takes emotional discipline and emotional structure and emotional order. Structure, order, resilience, and discipline does not only apply to work-related things. It also applies to your emotions. And we will talk about that in the structure, order, and resilience class. If you had not signed up, it's in the description. If you're having trouble with any payment on the site, just cash up your level up guru, put your name and your email so I can write it down and I know that you're there. But we're going to also talk about structure, order, and resilience emotionally. Because if I didn't have structure, order, and resilience emotionally, I would let that person back in. But I realized that person cannot fit into my new life. They just don't fit it. They don't fit my new life. So why am I going to go and like open the door to let somebody that I haven't spoken to in years and we left on terms where they were trying to belittle me, make me feel bad about myself, bully me, hurt me, make me feel less than, make me feel insecure. Why would I reconnect with somebody like that? That serves me no benefit, no justice. I just look at the number, and the minute I recognize the number or the message thread, or I recognize who the person is, they get blocked immediately. I'm too busy divesting and leveling up. I don't have time to reconnect with people from the past. That's just not, it doesn't fit my story. And that's the thing. People will dislike you for that. They will dislike you. When you say, ah, this doesn't fit this doesn't fit my story anymore. This doesn't fit what I'm going for. They will dislike you for that. Okay? Thank you.